Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Today, what I'm going to show you is optocouplers. This one right here is a 817B. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you how an optocoupler works, but I'm not going to use all the graphs and the oscilloscopes and the, you know, all the scientific jargon and whatnot. I'm going to do this in layman's terms. Um, and then if you want to pursue further into, you know, finding out every aspect there is of an optocoupler, then, you know, you've got a good basis on, on what you're looking for in an optocoupler. Now, what an opto optocoupler does, is it isolates circuits. They use these a lot in uh, switch mode power supplies, uh, RF circuits, um, a couple, anything that you want to isolate a problem, you would use an optocoupler. Um, because what happens is, is this chip right here, there is absolutely no physical connection between pins on the left or right. Um, right up here at the top, there's a little dot, okay, and that is pin 1, below it is pin 2, right here on the bottom is pin 3, and the top over here is pin 4, okay. Now, what is inside this little tiny package is, on this side, it's an LED, and on the other side, it's a photocell, okay. The photocell is actually working as a switch. So now, let me just give you a practical demonstration of how a photocell and an LED work together. I'm going to take the photocell, and I'm going to put that into the positive rail. If I can put it into this cheap board here. Then I'm going to take the um, cathode, okay, or negative, of the LED, and I'm going to put that into the negative rail. And then the anode, I'm just going to put it out here, okay, into the breadboard. Now, I'm going to put a current limiting uh, 100 ohm, well, this one's actually a 180 ohm resistor from the anode to the photocell that's on the breadboard there, okay? So we got a completed circuit here. We're going from negative over to the uh anode through the resistor and then back over to the positive rail or the other way around it's going to go from positive through the photo through the current limiter through the LED and then to ground now let me give it some power okay so now you got a completed circuit now the photo cell is working and lighting the, the light because it's receiving a uh, ambient light. If you put my finger over this, all right, it shuts the LED off because it no longer is acting like a switch. So if I take my finger off, the LED lights back up. So that's the main principle of a optocoupler, well, the 817B. Now, let's put it into practical use. I'm going to use the optocoupler, and we're going to do the same thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to supply the optocoupler with one voltage, okay? And then I'm going to supply the LED with a separate voltage. And you'll see what I mean in, in a second here once I get it wired up. So now, again, remember, a optocoupler has a, a LED in it, so you have to protect it with a resistor. So I'm going to take a 100 ohm resistor. I'm going to get, give that to pin 1 on the opto coupler. Okay. Then I'm going to give pin 2 the ground off this rail. All right. Now I'm going to, I'm going to disconnect that power. I'm going to put power over here. So now I got that battery feeding this rail, and then it's feeding the optocoupler. Now on this side, I'm going to give the optocoupler on pin three, I'm gonna give that ground. <clears throat> and then again, we're gonna use a, a resistor. So 
I'm going to use a 100 ohms resistor from the positive rail over to the breadboard and then I'm going to go from the uh, anode of the LED to the resistor and the cathode goes to pin 4 of the optocouple. I just got to make sure I did that right. Yep, it's in there. So now you notice the LED is not lit. So let's give it another battery. So we're isolating. We're totally isolating the two sides. I'm going to give that a positive and a negative to this rail. And there's our light. Okay. So now, if I was to disconnect the power from this side, the light goes out because the optocoupler is no longer, um, that LED in there is no longer lighting and tripping the photocell. So if I give it the power back, it lights up. All right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the long and short of a 817B optocoupler. Well, the, mainly a lot of the guys use is a PC817. Okay, this, this just happens to be a, uh, that is that device that I ripped out of that um, power supply yesterday. And that's what I needed that device for was for this video. I took it out of a, uh, I don't know, I don't have one handy. I took it out of a transformer. Okay. All right. Thumbs up, likes, subscribe. And that's it for today for the 817 Opto Coupler. Thanks for watching, guys.